everyone is your girl ally welcome to the channel welcome welcome and welcome to each and every one of you who are new to my channel so today i will be showing you guys how i do my eyebrows so if any one of y'all would like to know how to do eyebrows and would like to know how to actually shake them up i will show you here and if you're interested in it then you can join the right channel okay so i'm not licensed um to do this but this is what i have learned how to do and by practicing i became pretty good at it and i would like to show you guys so you guys can learn how i did it all right so let's dive into this video you guys show you guys how i actually do my eyebrows as you can see i have a lot of new growth right up in here and we're gonna get that situated okay so first you want to See if you have any type of Vaseline or lotion, your preference, when you go into your eyebrow. I'm going to be using a mirror here on this side. So if you see me looking on this side, I'll be using a mirror as well to see what I'm doing. So I'm just you just basically want to comb up your eyebrows. And that's what I'm doing. Now, I don't have my... Uh, Vaseline, usually I use Vaseline too to help when I actually um, shape up my eyebrows when I'm cutting it. So we're going to use this razor. So we're going to use this. You can get this at any local beauty store. So Vaseline do help or a little lotion. And I'm going to also use these. Fantasy. Shears and use these. They do have eyebrow um, scissors that you can use for your eyebrows. They do have some. But hey, I'm going to use what I have and I can get my hands on you guys and show you guys how I do this right here. I have to wash my hair, you guys. <laughs> Don't come for me, you guys. I will do my hair in a little bit. But yeah, just want to show you guys how my eyebrows. And eyebrows, they are sisters, but they definitely, definitely not going to be identical, but you want to make it. Make it get as close, as identical as you can, you know, but remind you that they're not gonna be as super perfect, okay? So, you don't want to cut too much off. So basically, the reason why I am brushing this up because that extra hair that you see that overlaps right right up in here that is, that is long, you're gonna cut that. You're gonna cut those long pieces right there. And we're gonna do that real quick. So you wanna bring the shears right here and you wanna go here and you wanna clip those. Okay, I'm gonna brush that. Let me see if you have anything else long there. There's just a little long in there. Okay, and then what I do too is also brush them down. You don't only want to brush it up, but you want to brush it down to see if you still have some longer pieces, which you do. And you're gonna just go in there. Okay, and do the same thing that you did on one to the other. And that's what we're gonna do. Guys, I really had to learn how to do this because I used to go get my eyebrows done all the time. And every time, it seems like this one particular time, I went to get my eyebrows done. And the lady jacked me up, you guys. When I say she jacked me up, I had to share this with you guys. Um, because personally, when it happened to me, I'm like, okay, we got to learn how to do this ourselves. Because these people be jacking us up half the time. You, you, you come out lucky. But sometimes you come out and you be like, damn. I know they cut a little bit too much on this side than they did on this side. Or when they wax it or when they when they um, using a razor or whatever, they might take off a little too much here or they might have left a little too much there or, you know, it's just all over the place. And don't get me wrong, I ain't always did, it, uh, did my brows good, but I always, if, if I mess up, I did patch it up by, you know, drawing in the eye, the eyelash, I mean, eyelash, my eyebrows, you guys. But um, 
gradually it takes time to get good at what you do you know i'm not perfect but you know as gradually as i con continue to do it i got really good at it and i and i'm satisfied at it and if i didn't feel satisfied with it i drew it in until it grew back and keep starting the process of learning how to do it and you guys i believe that we all can do this you know and plus it saves a buck when you can do it yourself and then just go in and i click there okay and i'm just checking again looks like it's still a little long over there so we're gonna go in there and just cut that part Now, can't go to trick of it. Okay, so now, since I started on this side first, I'm gonna start on this side. So we're, now we're gonna do is we're gonna basically you can either some people start on the top and then or and then work on to the bottom. Me, I do either or. But today we're gonna start from the bottom. So um, you want to keep your eyebrows as just like this normal, relaxed. I'm just gonna go up like this, and I can see my arch already going from here on up and the extra hair that you will have that you need to cut off is right here okay so you want to take you want to take this razor you want to go in a, and they always say go in the opposite direction of the hair grow some people say opposite way of the hair grow or you can do it within the same way that the hair grows okay i do it either or, okay so we're gonna go ahead and go in to this eyebrow real quick so usually i'll just hold my eyebrow like i hold my face like this to the mirror itself and i bring the mirror Sometimes I bring the mirror as close as I can to myself. All right, hold on. And I'm going to that one. Just like this. You see how I went from here and I went around? You can do that, but that's just the way I do mine. I go here, and if I feel like I had a little bit too more there, I go back in and, and go into it. So let me finish this story telling you guys what happened to me. So yeah, I was getting my eyebrows waxed. Okay, you guys. And my damaged eyebrow, the one, well, not damaged eyebrow, but this side on my, on my left side, they waxed so much off on the left side that literally they took off this and it was like the tail of the eyebrow was literally gone like they created a, a whole new tail for my for my brow so it went from having an actual arch to not having an arch and that it was gone and to cover it up they use an eyebrow pencil to color it in so i didn't really catch it you know you know how after they do your eyebrows they give you a little mirror and all that you're looking in there and all of that you know you're like oh they look good or whatever all right so i'm looking at that i'm like i i don't know about that all right so when i looked at it again i was like okay you know what something ain't right because you know how they do that and then you go back and touch it up and i went back to touch it and look at it because she had put so much of the eyebrow pencil then when i noticed this side it was cut all the way off and the majority of it was the eyebrow pencil this side was it, it had it was really really skinny they looked like they were even out with each other because the way she did the eyebrow pencil and i'm telling you guys i was when i say it was a disaster it was a disaster and I ain't never go back. Never went back to the, to them to get my brows done. And then um, I continued to go there to get my nails done. And because the lady messed up my eyebrows, I said, "Shoot, I ain't going back there. I ain't going back to do my eyebrows with them no more." You know, you know, maybe it's just the eyebrows. Maybe she wasn't too good with that and continue with the nails. But this particular day, somebody else, and I know, but but I ain't wanna say but, but yeah. Anyways, went back to the same nail salon. Did not get the eyebrows done no more. I started doing my own eyebrows. All right, you guys. Okay, so what you want to do is take this um, um take this um razor and you just want to go in the area where you see needs to be done. And right here, you want to if you want to have your arch a little high, you can. So usually, sometimes I do this to check to see where where my eyebrow really lays at. And then I come in, but because this eyebrow uh, is the way like this, I still my the tail of my uh, eyebrow is still trying to grow. So, I do know that within right here, this part needs to stay, but this part going down needs to come in. So, we're going to take off a little bit of that, and we're going to go from there, okay? So, we're going to go from the side, and you want to hold it, hold your eyebrow like this, and then just go in like this. And then, 
some, and if you feel like you need to shape up here, you can do that too. But whatever you do, try not to take off too much, you guys. Whatever you do. Okay, I go back in. And I brush it. And you're just looking for that extra hand. Alright. Now, the same thing you did on this side, you want to do it on this side. Now, as you can see, you guys, I do have a little arch going on right here. But, of course, like I tell you guys, my brows are still trying to recover from what happened to me, okay? So, as you can see, this eyebrow, I still got that. I still got that bent and then down a little bit. And it's still trying to grow there. So, we're going to we're gonna work with that. We're going to work with a gap, okay? So, we're going to do the same thing with this side, okay? Bring it up. Hold on to my eyebrow. And you can either go this way or you can go this way. So we're going to go like this. I'm just bringing it closer so you guys can see. Oh, you can go this way like I was telling you guys. Okay, I go back in, and I'm like, okay, I'm satisfied with that, you know, now you can see it's lining up, you know, how you want it. Now you're going to do the same thing, down the other side. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. All right, and I come here, I seem to have a little bit extra here, and I'm going to go all the way around. And don't want to take off with so much. Like I was telling you guys on the other one. And I just come in and I'm going to line that up here. Now, oops. Now look at my brows. Now, now you can see they are even out. Check the eyebrows out. So, right up in here. I have a full eyebrow on this side. This side is still recovering. So you can do the best you can, or you can try to cut just a little bit off to even it out a little bit. It's, it's your choice. On my end, I'm just basically trying to let this continue to grow, but just keep the same arch and then color it in a little bit so that it won't be so noticeable from what happened to me before. So yeah, you guys, the struggle is real with this eyebrow. So that's done. I'm gonna clean that off with some alcohol. I'll definitely use that. You want to get some cotton balls. Get cotton balls real quick. Pour alcohol on those. Mm, it's going to burn a little bit. But don't worry about it. Oof. We burn, you guys. Burn. too light you can always go back over it put a shade darker okay you do the same thing on this side you should do a shade lighter because that way I can see what's see what the line is at the lining of the eyebrow And the line of the eyebrow is right there. Darker shade is always on top. So I'm going to go on top of the darker shade. Okay. Now 
you, you know what, always the darkest shade on top, but you can put the darkest shade on the bottom and the lightest shade on top. It's, it's, it's your choice and blend it out. This is just the way I do it. Now I've seen plenty of people use darker shade on the bottom, lighter shade on top. Then I go here. Now why am I where I want my eyebrows to be at? Now you can actually see the fullness of the, the eyebrows itself, because by me doing this you can see where the eyebrow is at. So we're gonna color, we're gonna um shade that in so we can see where the eyebrow is at. So just give me a sec. Now Let's color in where these eyebrows are. Sorry, guys. All right. So I have a dark brown brow powder. And this um, brow, this dark brown um, palette that I have here, I got this from Sephora, too. So you have a dark shade and a light shade. Of course, your darker shade, you want your darker shade to be within here. Your lighter shade to be within the tail part of the eyebrow itself. For those of you who don't know, that is how you shade in your eyebrows. You go from dark to light. Okay, so you go into your dark. And I'm gonna start on this side so you can see you can see more of a difference on this side because this side is the side that don't have as much hair. The left side is the side that doesn't have as much hair as it do the right side. To you watching, it's gonna look like my right side, but yeah, well, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brow now. So I'm gonna go at an angle like this, going up. Start from the end and go up. Now the reason why I'm going up, because I'm going in the, the line in the direction of the hair, going up, and that's how you want to and place it. That's how you want to actually fix the eyebrow. Like, as you can say, see, see it's getting a little fuller. Now I'm going to go to the darker shade. I mean, the lighter shade. Sorry, guys. As you can see, I'm, it's getting a little fuller. Now, as you go here, you're still going to follow that same pattern. And then you're going to go to that same angle. Take your time. No rush. When you do your eyebrows, you really don't need to be rushing. And then on your tail of your eyebrow right there. You can make it long. I try not to get do my um, tail of my eyebrow for so long. You guys, I just try to, not try, but keep it to a certain, um, let me see. I, want it to, I don't want it to be too long. I don't want it to be too short, but I want it to be in between. I don't know if that makes sense. Now, remind you, you can go back in here and fix this. All right, eyebrow, to me, I think, oh, it looks good. So if I want to go back here and shape it, we're going to do that after. So right now, we're going to just basically keep doing what we're doing for both eyebrows. And I'm going to just go in here and fill in these eyebrows real quick. Just keep in mind, they're sisters, but they're not going to look exactly alike. And we tend to always try to make them look so identical, we do. We really try so hard to do that. For those of you who don't know, um, your eyebrows, as you're doing your eyebrows, you'll notice that it's not gonna always, you want it to get as close as possible to the same, how they, they basically look like they're shaped exactly the same, and the arch is like on point with each other, you know? My eye, you guys. Now you can see the tail of this one, how this one's more up. So if you wanted to, I'll show you how to bring the tail up a little bit more. So give me a second, you guys. So Let's say I wanted this part to be up a little bit more. I can make that part has a point. And this one will be a point pointed up a little bit too. 
Now you can make it have that, that point and then drop down low on both sides. And then if you wanted to go back in, which I do at times, go back in and line the brow up exactly how you want it. You want to be a sharp tail, line how you want it. Then I come back and do the same thing on this side. And I said, hmm, I don't think I want a long, long tail. So I use, sometimes I use the, the uh, brush, you guys, and I just go here, I'm like, okay, I'm lining out here. As it pass, as the eyebrow passes, this, go here, okay, that's good. Go across, okay, that's good, boom. So that's how you want to stay, just like that. You know, it's not extremely too long. If you still feel like it is, you can always, you can always go right back in here and cut off a little bit. You cut it off a little bit right there if you feel, if you feel it's too long. And I go back in here and I just straighten up this part. Go in here, just like this. And I go on the side. And under. You doing it just like how they will wax it, but you're gonna what you can do too for you guys who are new to makeup. How I learned to do my eyebrows and to get them as straight as I could. We should draw it as an M. You can draw it in as an M. Go you line out your eyebrows, just color it all the way in, and make it as an M. Make this right here. You're pointing. You you want to make it as a point like a V. You make it as a point like a V. And then take it around. Then color in. You can color it in. Now, now a little bit with the eyebrow pencil if you want to. You can color it with eyebrow pencil. But I'll, I really would like to tell y'all if you get any dark brown or whatever shade uh, that you have that a, a, a brown pencil. I can't even talk today. Whatever uh, shade that you need for your eyebrows. Uh, if you get it in a brown powder that may become a this or whatever, and it has the two shades. I will go for this before I go for the eyebrow pencil, eyeliner, whatever for the eyebrows. But of course, you can do this and then touch back up with the eyebrow pencil. I have done that. So you definitely can do that too. And I can show you. I just prefer the, the brow powder than the eyebrow pencil because of the outcome of how the, the brows look once you do it with the pencil compared to doing it with the brow um, powder. It looks totally different, you guys. You don't have to worry about the bulkiness. Um, of it being so thick and dark and very, very, very dark. Um, because you can tell from the pencil most of the time when you see people walking around and after they use the pencil on the eyebrows, you can tell the pencil from, from powder or marker. They have also have eyebrow marker that you can use for your eyebrows as well. A lot of people don't know about it. Some people, they do, you know, for those of you who are on here that do use makeup and for those of you who don't know, um, yes, you can get the eyebrow marker pencil and they have a waterproof one that you can get and use. I'm still learning about a little makeup. I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm learning as I go, but I do know they do have that out there that you can use okay all right so you want to just to show you, you can use the pencil um i sharpen it i always try to sharpen it so it can be a little sharp and most of the time I feel like if you feel like you need to darken it up a little bit you can go and darken it up a little bit but try not to apply too much of it my thing is when you apply extremely too much okay you really don't need but so much and then there's my eyebrows so to do my finished touch of everything I said I wasn't going to put all that makeup on. I did, I did. But I just wanted to show you guys how the eyebrows actually look, how they came out. And these are my eyebrows. So I just want to show you the tutorial of that. And yeah, so that's how we came out. Of course, I just wanted to show you guys how I actually shape my eyebrows. And this is how I shape it. Um, most of the time I shape it different ways. So I just wanted to show you guys that this is a way you can shape your eyebrows. Let me move this a little bit so you guys can see from far. So this is what I do to mine. Of course, you guys, like I told y'all, the situation with the eyebrows, you guys. Um, the situation with the eyebrows and how that is going with it. Um, just basically looking in the mirror, sorry, you guys. But, yeah, I basically draw it in, uh, shape it up and clean it up, and I keep I keep it rolling, you know. So, yeah, you guys, this is how the eyebrows look and this how it came out, you guys. Um, so, I definitely will show you guys a full makeup that I do that is basic. It's, it's not as 
a professional person, but it's something you can start off with for the first time for those of you who are new to makeup and still finding their way and want to learn a little bit about makeup and how to apply it and what you can use and so forth that I have actually used. Not saying what I do is perfect or not saying what I use may be all the best of the things, but I do know the basic things that you will need for your, for your makeup and what you do before you apply different makeup to your face. So yeah, you guys, so this is it right here. This is the, this is not the finished, this is not like the finished touch of the whole face, but your eyebrows is like, it's like the whole cake of the face. And it seems like when your eyebrows, is, if your eyebrows jack up, your whole face just looks, it just like, it just feels like it's over It's just, your eyebrows give your face a definition, you know, the way it is. It, it makes your face pop, you know, like you can have the, the jack up, you can have a jack up makeup, makeup do and your eyebrows could be on fleek. You know, and out of the whole makeup, they can be like, dang, well, I can give her the point that her eyebrows, her eyebrows is on fleek, but that makeup isn't, you know, your eyebrows won't get that compliment because your eyebrows is what make your face have that definition. So, yeah, you guys, so this is how I actually do it. I line it up like this and I follow the same step. And um, I have MAC, the MAC palette. So the palette that I have is a pro um, concealer corrector palette and it has dark shades within it as well. So this is the palette and it looks like this at the MAC. You can get this in MAC at the MAC store. Um, the Makeup brushes that I'm using, these are from MAC as well. They come in different colors. I have it in this one, and I have it in orange. Um, I don't know if they sell in it still, but I got these, and these I got around about Christmas time when they were having a big deal. And I got it, um, whew, it's been a quite a few years back now that I got it when they was having a Christmas sale. And I got it for, for a good piece of change. So you get in this one, let's see. So this is the, this is the little case, and it, you know, both cases come with this. And... Uh -oh. I mean, I have, oh, I have all the brushes in here. So, this one comes, I'm going to make sure I have all of the brushes first. I believe I have all the brushes for that one. Hold on, Hold on you guys, because they both come with about the same amount of brushes. Make sure I have all the brushes, because I've been using them sometimes. I put them back in, sometimes I don't. But, um, I believe, I'm thinking I'm missing one, but I think I am, but I'm not sure. But anyways, so I got these. So, I have five of my hands right here. I have five of these and four of these in total, but I believe I am missing one, so I don't know where it is, but yeah, 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 I believe I'm missing one, so <laughs> I don't know what I have it, but yes, it comes, they have the little case that came in, and then it had like one of them big pouch that you can put these two in, and I had it for a while, and I had the makeup, because um, you guys, another thing too, I know this is, I'm doing this just for brows, but just give a, a quick tip for you guys, um, that if you want to learn with the makeup, make sure that you do clean your brushes as every time. Um, as you use your brush, I always do because you don't want uh, your makeup to build up. You know, I don't really wear makeup all the time. I might do just do just the eyebrow, just touch up my eyebrow, put a little lip gloss on. Ugh, can't sound twisted. Put do my eyebrows, and I'll do a little lip gloss and a little mascara, something basic. Or if I if I just doing something basic and I'm just randomly, I'll do this. If I run out of my Mac, um, I do have a Mac um ugh, mascara, and this is the diamond. Um, the, uh, this one is an extreme diamond 3D black lash, and then this is how it looks. And if you can see, it has Mac on it. So I do use this one, and I like it because of the brush. I like how the brush look. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I like the way the brush looks. But yes, so anytime I run out of this one, of course, I will get the next one. I'll get is either this one, and I forgot the name of the. I forgot the name of the other one. See, okay, this is the Maybelline one, but I'm, I'm trying to think of the name of it. But anyways. So you want to get a, a, um, this is actually a cleaner for the brush, and it says cleans off all, um, sorry, you guys. Uh, I'm all over the place, you guys, sorry. This is the one to cleanse your face. So, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. But this one, because some of, some of them do have a bottle like this, and the liquid look like this. So, I got it so twisted, but yeah. So this one is for your face. You want to get one that you can clean, um, your makeup off your face with, definitely want to get, um, the makeup remover to remove the makeup and this is the brush cleanser so you definitely want to get this from mac it is a, a bit it costs a, a pretty penny it do so you definitely want to get a cleanser for your brush and what i do i just dab just a, i just put just a little bit in inside like a little container or something that i have i put a little bit of this and i put a little bit of water not that much and i use it to scrub the brushes with really good so you definitely want to have that and this and i'm definitely gonna keep this out because i have to clean my face and, and I'm going to keep the other one um, out so I can clean my brush, which you definitely, definitely, definitely need to have the both. So, with that being said, you guys, I'm going to put that up. And also, what else? Oh, for eyebrows. Sometimes, sometimes I use the eyebrow gel. So, eyebrow gel, 
I use, this is the eyebrow gel that I, I would use sometimes when I run out of any, and it comes out like this. It's like a little thickness to it. <laughs> Squeeze it a little bit. It might have, and then you know what? You gotta be careful too because the gel, if it's open or if, it, if it's open and catch any air in it, it will dry up in the container. So I feel like it might not come out. It might, it might not come out. But I'm gonna show you guys how it actually look. Well, maybe. That's what I was saying. This one is a little kind of old because I have, I've been using the, um, the powder, the eyebrow powder. So yeah, I'm probably have to buy another one of these, but these are definitely good. Um, if you want to start off with, this is like the perfect, it's perfect. This is waterproof. Um, it's long lasting. So I like it and also tells you that it, I don't know if you guys can see or make it out, but it do tell you that it is waterproof. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is waterproof. You can get from your local beauty store. I gotta buy another one of those, but yes, you guys. So you guys, if you like what you see and you would like to see more of my content, you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share. You guys, please give your girl a thumbs up and let you guys all know that you like this video, you guys, and you're interested in this video, you guys. And I thank you for joining me, you guys. And I will be here Saturday and Sunday once again. Saturday and Sunday, my all of my uploads will be here. And to join the family, you guys, don't forget to hit that bell and turn on that bell notification. All right, I will see y'all on Sunday. Bye.